Welcome to your inspirational weekend astrology forecast for the weekend of September 7th, 8th, and 9th, 2012. I am astrologer David Palmer here to illuminate the collective consciousness. Well, starting on Friday, we have the Sun and Mercury almost conjunct, making a square to the Moon and Jupiter, which are really going to be in a conjunction late Friday, but the square does happen here, and this is going to be an interesting day. That's because we do have the Sun and Mercury following each other through the weekend. So our minds are right on top of our consciousness, right on top of how we want to express ourselves. This is a great time for understanding things and this weekend is all about understanding everything in our lifestyle, every little detail, every little nook and cranny. Yet, we do have this square. And because the moon is in Gemini today, we are emotional over our minds. And because now we have all this Virgo energy and all this Gemini energy, this is both part of our minds really in acting up wanting to know the details of our life. Also, with this Jupiter square, it is looking deep at the opportunities in our life. Where can we expand? Where can we grow? Where can we see a bigger picture? What opportunities that you've been met with have you not walked through? I'm sure there's doors in your life that you haven't walked through and they can be kind of hard to deal with. It's like, oh my gosh, I know I have this optimism. I have this huge opportunity. There were these doors that opened and I, not, I didn't go for it yet. The universe is here today to just check yourself to make sure that you know the opportunities in your life to go through. And this is all geared towards our lifestyle, our moment-to-moment -moment reality, every part of our lives. And because this is all mental energy, just get yourself in the right state of mind this weekend and really learn to process things. And it is all about reality, but remember that we do need to keep the hope and optimism alive and see a bigger picture and know what our truth is. You know what? Getting into our truth doesn't happen always right away. There are steps in our lifestyle that do need adjusting. And this weekend is all about understanding the adjustments we need to make in our lives, the adjustments we need to make deep inside of our heads as well, in our attitude. And it really is having a realistic but positive attitude, knowing which doors to go through, and knowing really where to aim in our lives. And this is also based off our heads. If our attitude is not in the right place, it can affect our reality. And I will be honest with you, Friday can be a hard day if the attitude and the reality are not in the right place. Finding the right place, knowing which opportunities to go for in your life, or ones that you know of and you haven't gone through, this gives you the clarity to truly go for it. Really go for it and understand it. And really hope and optimism is available for you if you can get over this hurdle. Now the moon will be in Gemini all the way through Saturday, so we are wrapping up our heads, our mind, you know, we're emotionally wanting to let things out. So I definitely say since Mercury and the Sun are also conjunct all weekend, and you've got all this mental energy, like, it is time to speak up, folks. It's time to communicate to people and so forth. Now we just had Venus go into Leo yesterday, and it's now moving nice and good, so it's all about cracking up our hearts. It's time to build a lifestyle. It's time to build an attitude based off our heart. The heart is the key, like I said, this is where you'll feel warm and fuzzy and great. This is that playful, fun energy. It really is time to have fun. This will pull you out of the mental stuff as long as you're finding the fun. You know where you're going. You know where you're aiming. You know the stuff in your lifestyle. Then disconnect from that a little bit and don't get so stuck in the head and follow your heart because really the way to build the blocks right now in your life to feel good, especially when it comes to your one-on-one -on -one partnerships right now, is to get that playful side back going, to get that love going, to get that smile back. And when you do release and when you do say what you have to say this week and then step back into your heart, say what you got to say and then stay back. You know, with the moon and Gemini, we can get really emotional over what we want to say and what they said back to us and what did they say. And since we have all this nitpicky, really detail oriented energy, it's like, oh my gosh. And then you pick it apart like a, with a toothpick trying to find a needle in a haystack of what this person said. What happened? Oh my gosh. Just chill, follow your heart, say what you got to say, understand where you want to go, and don't get too caught up in the head. Remember, we still do have Uranus and Pluto in this nice square. So at the end of the day, the background truly is, you know, letting go of the rules, old rules having to leave and really stepping into this new unique self and really going for what you, you desire in your life. And this takes innovation. This takes different electricity. It's time to do new things. It's time for new desires, new projects. If they're based off the new paradigm, off this new spiritual work that we got to do and finding our enlightenment, it'll be a lot easier. Now going into Sunday, the moon does slip into Cancer. So this is going to be very interesting because as all of our emotions really are wrapped up in our heads, then we really emotionally take care of business. We go deep into where we emotionally want to feel. We want to feel safe. 
So Sunday is a very interesting day because after all this mental energy, all we're going to want to do is take a nap, basically, because our heads are going to be going so much, and our emotions will want to feel safe and comfy and secure. So Sunday is a very good day to just chill out, relax, and really tap into what your emotions are telling you. Where do you feel happy? Where do you feel sad? And so forth. And this is all related to our lifestyle. That's because Mercury and the Sun all weekend are following each other. They're going hand in hand, and they're really coming forward to find all of this nice processing energy for you to understand what you can do in your life. See what opportunities you go for. And you know, don't be shy of the opportunities. This can be always an energy where you're not optimistic enough. Keep the optimism going. Or it's like overly optimistic. It's finding that nice parallel just as long as you know where those doors are and you know how to get it. I guarantee you this will be a great weekend. And follow your heart. Find your love. Find where you feel free. This is the way to pull yourself out of all this head. But I have to say, you must speak up. You must say your truth. You must understand your truth. And you must implement this into your lifestyle. And also, as Sunday comes, where do you feel safe in your lifestyle? Where do you feel comfy? This is where we make the bed of our life. How? What kind of sheets are in my life? How comfy is the bed? Maybe I need to get a pillow top. You know, things like that. But look at it more in a spiritual way in your life. Go to my website, david-palmer.com. Check it out. I have new products going up over the weekend. I have a new course, which is a one-week course, which is really cheap. And it's a motivating course to motivate you into your destiny. I'm coming up with this new destiny course where you take one week with me. And guess what? We're going to get you into your destiny. I'm going to motivate you to get there. This is a course you cannot miss. I'm putting it up on the website this weekend. We are starting next week. So hopefully you really enjoy it. I can't wait for you to check it out. Go to david-palmer.com. Plus I do my one-on-one -on -one readings. If you need a one-on-one, -on -one, just if you need 15 minutes, I got 15 minutes available for you. Go to david-palmer.com and I will see you guys on Monday. Take care.